Welcome back everybody, the Farming Simulator 17, here on Mr. Blue Farms. Today we are on Pleasant Valley 17, B2, and uh, I don't know where I'm going. I'm trying to figure out what this base food is, uh, went and got some canola, and uh, whatnot, so I'm figuring, you know, it had to be corn. So, I was hoping and pray it's corn. Well, how are all y'all doing today? Folks, y'all doing all right? Oh, I'm doing this hunky-dory. Except for one thing, folks. Except for one thing. It's come time for a restart on this map. Yes, that's right, folks. V3 is out. V3, well, tonight at 9 o'clock Eastern, I believe. Uh, Dave's net. It's D-A-J net. On, on Twitch or YouTube, he'll put on either one. We'll release uh, V3 tonight, is what we've heard. This is base food, 12%. Okay, so it was corn. It was corn. Our pigs need grain, crop, corn, uh, root crops. As y'all can see, it, they just need food. They're growing. Let's check see how much we got. Yeah, they, they need it. And they need some water, too. Um, so, okay, what does that mean for us, Mr. Blue? Well, my family, my subs, my fans, just my family. Y'all are my family. And thank y'all very much, too, for all the support. But anyway, doing a restart is pretty much it. You're just starting this map all over from the beginning. See, I'm going to, I don't like using this. I don't use this with vehicles because it's not realistic. But I'm just going to transport myself over to Johnson's Farms. And um, y'all see all this here? Oh, not chainsaw, not chainsaw. These three bins right here, well, they come from, well, they didn't come from Kentucky Farmer. Kentucky Farmer took the silo or, or bunker thing you know those white things nah, I'll show y'all here in a minute but anyway he took him out it, it's these things pretend this yellow and black stops not here there's grates not here but you got these concrete barriers down all the way and down all the way this way and put chaff and grass and everything else in here and then you have to blanket it those things. Well, Kentucky Farmer took them out of this, and he let me have the map with it and stuff, and I'm so grateful and stuff. But anyway, you know, on his map, he placed these down, and he placed three of them down here on each uh, farm that, you know, had these silos that you had to blanket. Well, anyway, if I do a restart, all this is going to disappear. It's going to be back uh, these bunker things like that over there. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to sell all this stuff out, which it won't even load. When I do this new version, the version 3, it will not even load this map no more. This map will be Ostelite, baby. Ostelite, is that right? Hope I said that right. But anyway, it will not be here no longer. It's going to read the new map and all the new stuff comes along with it, which is awesome, folks. I, I hit the button with this waiting. It takes a little bit of time to sync up everything that's inside, especially if you got a lot of stuff in there. And we got a lot of stuff. We got the big bud in here. Big bud is in there somewhere. And our disc. Here's our disc. Let's just pull this guy out of the way. Ah, I didn't pick it up. I didn't hook it, I didn't hook it. There we go. But this is probably going to be a short, short episode cause of that.
I'm just gonna park this guy right right here. We ain't gonna take him very far. I just wanna show y'all some stuff. You know, all this here is gonna be gone. The new update version that's coming out was supposed to have two of these here. These four trees. Yeah, four trees here. And this here will be gone and there will be a double building here. Which we need that for more storage down here. Um, just tab around. I don't know exactly what's under. Just down here at uh, the right farm, my main farm. And we're back at the pigs. Um, I don't know what all update will be done to the pig area. Uh, I really don't. We'll find out Friday, folks. And as you can look in the top right, it's Wednesday, September the 13th. And we will find out. Pull my calendar up. Yep, it's 15. September 15th will be Friday. And uh, y'all will be watching this at 2 p.m. But he won't have his. Um, update version of B3 ready till 9 p.m. that night Eastern time whatever time that is uh, as you can see here I got this new uh, Matadane I, I don't know what to how you pronounce it but anyway y'all know this thing right here it, this, this auger right here it served its purpose, but I took the seeds out of it and put that in that thing that I just did. But I had, well, I think I done sold it. The blue trailer I had sitting here for the longest. I don't know if I sold it on the last episode or not. But I drove that up on top of it and put it in the oven. It's the only way it would register. And I am selling this bed here. It's off of the... Uh, train that I had. Y'all see it here in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and sell this. Now as you can see I'm up to 207,000. Um, I've been playing this off screen for a little bit. And I'm going to show y'all some of that too. But right now this is the Chevrolet 2500. It can be a dually or it can be just a single tire at the back. So I figure with this weight here, uh, um, where my seeds go? Where did my seeds go? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. I forgot. I forgot. Duh. And all you do is uh, LB and down brings that out, or you can control it yourself. Uh, kind of moves the camera too. But and you hit LB and A, or uh, LB and down, I'm sorry. And it will bring it back around. Bring this bad boy over here and park it here. Don't have very much pickup speed, but it does have the power, folks. All right, you notice all the trees down through here, and this is my mistake. This is totally my mistake. One of the things I want to show you. You know, we cut these trees all the way around the main farm at the big farm, and uh, I done sold a lot of them. My pack of soda a load right over before I started recording. But, um, right here, as you can see, you know, I cut these. Well, they're back. Why, well, they're back, Mr. Blue. Well, family, they're back because I'm stupid. I'm so stupid. Alright, see here? They're back. 
apparently it didn't bring all of them back. I don't know why it didn't bring all of them. But, uh, yeah, from this point here on, all of them's back. That's my fault because I've had a uh, PV-17 zip file in my downloads for a while now. And, uh, I should have known better because whenever you pull a folder out, unzip it to work on it, uh, owner sells property in a R grain mill for $171,000. Hurry up with the decision we have notified. Oh! Oh! Okay, when you get those, you're going to have to go way, way, you have to go way up, way up here. You know, the, the town right here, the, uh, the Southern Point and stuff, Morgan's Market, where you want to go way up here to the other Morgan's Market. There's a place up for sky blue real estate or something like that. Here, let me get out and I'll show y'all real quick. And I'll come back to that truck. And it's right up here somewhere. Hope I got the right place. Uh, oh, yep, yep, right here. See, right down there is Morgan's. And then you have a icon DK or whatever you want to call them right there and right here uh, construction I think it's this in here Remax real estate yep and you just walk up to it and it'll pop this up I have to get rid of my inspector mod as you can see right here NAR grain mill to buy you need rating 10 what rating am I now? I'm a total of a 30, so. And. I just put in a bid for it. So we we'll have to wait and see. If you get up that bid, the more ratings you got down here, that's another thing too, folks. See, that's minus two, minus two. That is four points. Illegal failed trees, two. Completed missions, is two, minus. So that's giving me four points to the bad where I could have had 35 points on rating right now. Anytime you cut a tree illegally gives you a point and I've done four of them. And uh, yeah. And I'm sure you don't just know down here. I know I done went through this once before but um This here is where you can just update right, right here, right form. Update storage capacity to I got three million liters from for one million dollars. Burger maintenance per day is two hundred dollars. You can update all these. I'll click on this and it's not gonna let me. Don't have enough money. Okay. Well, anyway. Whoa, wait. It took her money. 
So that means we own the NRA whatever. Alright, we own this. Do you want to sell this for a hundred and sixty-five thousand? No, 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 no. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. We gotta find out where it's at. N A R Grain Mill. Okay. N A R Grain Mill. Uh, get somewhere where I can read it. That's too bright. Yeah, it has to be up there somewhere because NAR is all over. Well, there's a lot of NAR. NAR, not available railroad. So it's not available by a railroad. Huh, okay. Anyway, we got a lot of things to do, a lot of things to do. Um, Ah, right there. Let's see, let's visit. So this is ours now. Oh, I don't want to change that. So I guess we can bring our grain up here. And, um, whatever this thing does, we'll do it, I guess. And one thing about the new, the version 3, folks, it will, all the decals will be down on the floor so we know what's what. So all this would be labeled and we know what it would be, so... But anyway, I just bought this, so I have no idea what it does, so yeah. Uh, my truck somewhere around here. Go find it. There's, a, there's one other thing I want to show y'all. But yeah, right, right here, there was a uh, a wall and a wall. You know how it is in front of the cow place. You can put a uh, silo chaff and stuff in here, and it turns to silage. All those will be back, and uh, yeah. Where did I park my truck? Is it way down here? I want to get my truck because we're going to go up there. Oh, I want to show y'all this. Let me go ahead and show y'all this. Y'all going to be like, Mr. Blue, what did you do? I made this, folks. I made this. That's off the main highway there. My map not showing up. All right, but anyway, looks different. Why is my map not showing? There it goes. That way y'all can see where I'm at. I'm right down from the fertilizer. 
that up so I won't get done. Remember with the bulldozer and the traco and all that was it. Well, yes, folks. I leveled this out like I said I was going to. I brought this heel right here down. Even. Just a little bit off the water here. That makes it a whole lot easier. You can put your traco on top of this and put it in your truck. And just show y'all, I also made this here. Just a, a gravel way to get to the perch. I got some fertilizer in there. Still got some shout or whatever how you pronounce that. We need some liquid manure. But uh, I'm not going to do nothing to none of this, folks. Uh, I have to redo all this. Pig has been pouring again. Oh, all right. I need to slow my time down. That's why. But anyway, we'll come off this road with a truck and trailer. Come down here. Come way down in here. As you can see, it's slanted a little bit more. Park a truck right here beside this. Load it up. And then we'll just make its turn. Gently going up this hill. Back on the highway. And back up over here. Or we can go out that way. Which, you know, you have to go back up this. You have to go back up this way. And go up that hill right there. And then go back down that way, back towards that town to get where you can sell the stuff. Oh lordy. So I'm not really going to sell all this. Let's go here. We got Here's my truck. I was on the back side already. I gotta find a smooth spot to go up. But anyway, like like I was saying, I am not going to sell none of this stuff right yet until I make sure I can get my hands on the V3 map. Because that would be kind of stupid of me if I didn't get it and you know started selling all this stuff and then I couldn't get a hold of the map or they ain't gonna release it right away or, or or something you know it just wouldn't be right trickers don't want to pick up three slowly but it's picking it up Anyway, this is the fields I plowed together, and as you know, it was smoothed out to a while, and then it had a dip here. Well, folks, I took the dip out. Like I took it out, yeah, I took it out. And uh, all I done is put the marker on this road right here. And I went down through there and smoothing it all out. Or actually put it on replace. Replace the whole ground all the way across. And it's a huge drop off. But it seems to be alright. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait. But you know, this is Wednesday for me, so I'm going to be waiting a long time. But this is going to be Friday for y'all. Y'all watching this on Friday. So I'm like, uh, oh lordy. No, it's just. I'm still set up here. Uh, this is loaded with corn. And uh, that might be a little bit before I bring the truck over. This at Robert's Farm. Field 63 over. Bottom left almost. Um. So yeah, and uh, y'all probably like, well, Mr. Blue, how you gonna do all this, or how you gonna do it? Right now, I'm over here on Evans Farms. Go down here and get this grain buggy. 
into this combine. Control L. I'm thinking about, you know, uh, Upper Mississippi River Valley had the update from the 2.0 to the 2.1 or, or whatever. Uh, still a beta map, but anyway. What I done with it, I went in and sold everything. Sold all the tractors. Everything I could sell, I sold it. And I took that money over and I bought all that John Deere equipment. I don't know if y'all remember or if y'all seen that or not. Uh, it was uh, this last Sunday's episode, so if you haven't seen it, go watch that. We still got a little over half of corn to do. So we're going to let him do that while we go take a look at our fields but anyway if I do get my hands on the V3 map of Pleasant Valley I think that's what I'm going to do I'm going to go in and sell all my crops I'm already moved everything from the right farm down to cook farm and uh, I'm going to show y'all here that here in a minute too uh, I just want to see, see, I want to see the growth. Okay. Here's our fields. 51, 52, 53, and 52. Um, this is all being plowed. We got grass here. So that takes care of this farm. It ain't nothing there major. All we got to do is sell the equipment and the uh, grain out of here, which is almost gone. Uh, 63 has been harvested. That's the only thing we had over at Robert's Farm. Uh, combine, grain buggy, that blue one I just showed y'all. So that's done. Cook Farm, 25, 27, 28 has been harvested. That's the three we own. So I ain't going to do nothing there. Right Farm, everything's been harvested. And it is now what? Plowed? Yeah, everything's plowed here. So all these fields are pretty much ready, you know, all the crops are all, all off of them. I can't talk right. The only farm we got left that's got crops on them is right here, 33, 34, 35, and I don't know what that is, but yeah. These right here. This one's one big one, and that's a big one. So, folks, um, of course, we don't own, you know, when we go back into V3 map, if I can get my hands on it, we'll have uh, this farm over here. And I can't remember what it was called to save my life. Allen? I think it's Allen Farms. So, it's one, two three four five six farms and we're only using one two three four five of them so we'll probably do it the same way i'll sell everything off of this farm let that field go back and we'll just concentrate on the one two three four five farms here uh, might take me a little bit to do it. I'm going to try my best to get it back like it was. You know, apply all this together. I'm not even going to worry about the crops that's on there. I'm going to probably just throw a cultivator, I mean a plow in there. Start plowing and get it back like I had it. And uh, I'll go ahead and buy this field. And buy all these fields here that I did. Oh, something's up. Oh, okay. That's why I want to stop. Go ahead, unload this so I can show y'all what I've done. And I told y'all I bought a trailer. Oh, yeah. I bought another one of these road trains. These are under Kentucky Farmers. 
uh, stuff, so it's not going to be in the regular road train. These are 50,000 liters each, and here's the last trailer. It's actually part of them. And the one I had on there is longer and more square. Well, that's why I sold it so I can get one of these. They're all 50,000 each. So that's 200,000 liters right there when I get this full. I don't know, this might be a long episode. This might be. Because I, I got a little bit more explaining, I guess. I'm not for sure. But like I said, I don't want to sell everything off this map but from here on out I want to be playing it while I'm not recording and stuff or editing I'm going to be playing this trying to get all the crops to one location to one location and see how much we got of each Y'all see that? I had Control F, and that went all the way back down to the. the there and I ate up there. But uh, yeah. Anyway, what I'm probably do is buy all these fields, plow. Them, all together, not even worry about because, like these here, they're already harvested. That's harvest, these three harvest, all these are harvest. Only thing that's not harvest is these here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to get all the corn off of here, all of it. And um, I'm going to sell it. Um, go over to our pigs I'm gonna pay this loan back also out of stuff I sell so that will be taken care of um, I think I'm gonna let these pigs eat through this just give them enough uh, food to let the water and straw run out to or I might just go down when they get this add up sell them same with the sheep cows we don't have none so we just have to lose all that stuff there so uh yeah let's see eggs and backpack 210 eggs um it's not going to tell us no more okay Anyway, folks, that's what we're going to do, or what I'm going to do, I guess you can say. Halfway. Uh, yeah. See, here's the trees. What it was, I took a, a game that had the trees that was still in it. Instead of pulling out of my mods folder, I pulled out of my downloads. Now I should know better, so now all these trees are popped back. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll take care of that. If we get the V3, we don't have to worry about it. But if we don't get the V3, I'm going to go in the editor and take them out real quick. And just worry about what we worry about. Um, like I said, I ain't, I'm not going to sell none of the equipment until I get my hands on the V3 but uh a lot of quick folks a lot of quick
I am trying to get up to our logging area. Let's see if I did it. Whoa, I'm laggy, laggy, laggy. But I just bought that one place to show y'all what it's like, how you buy one and stuff. Just got a few that didn't know that. Um, as y'all can see here, that semi line's almost full. I had set some off to the side. And I might search over some sawdust there it looks like or not sawdust wood chips and I added some logs yeah 49,000 plus we got all those and then I also put wow I didn't suck two of those we got more extra wood chips here that we can sell I need to find out where they really go to on the factory wise That's just those. Here we go. This is the one I'm wanting. And this storage here, I think there's supposed to be more storage all the way around. And this map is big. I think when the V3 comes out, I'm on this probably have a minimum amount of mods I put in it. And I'm going to try to do like a, a server type deal with it I'm thinking I'm not for sure but I, I definitely need help with this mod and I think I'm gonna up this bucket too because look look here you put one scoop in there and it's almost done now that will run this factory until this gets full again some reason it's not running. Let's go ahead and see. What is full? Logs 98%. Board pallet 62. Wood chips 54. Wood chips might have been full reason. Yeah, wood chips was full. So that's why it was running. Not running. Duh, not running Mr. Blue. I take the amount and it should start up. Fast forward time a little bit. There it goes. But yeah, um, like I said, I'm just going to have to do a little bit more research on the, uh, the V3. I'm going to watch him Friday night and see if it's really worth it. I know it's worth it because it's going to have every label there is for everything so you know what goes where. And that's going to be like a plus. I'll get the truck down here. Load those up and rest of these up. I need to put one of those things down here for storage like I did on Cherry Hills. That would be pretty awesome to keep all the wood chips in. I'll tell you what, I'm not going to... I'm just going to put this back in the shed with these wood chips in it. Cows, 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 cows. I'm going to be working on the grain. Get all the grains out of the silos and taking them to Cook Farm since it's closer to town. Well, closer to that town down there. Uh, most of that stuff comes up here to this town, so probably going to be making a lot of course play routes. See, you can't open the doors on this 
or this or this but I think it's part of the update process of uh, buying this place and I'm not for sure. This looks like it was a part of a factory that's it's buildable because you got this wall here. I don't know. I just don't. We'll find out. We'll definitely find out. Um, like I said, I'm gonna have to finish selling some of that silage. Uh, our fuel is full. So that's why this ain't went down none here. So I'm gonna have to get the trailer truck out, which I don't even have over here. Well, it's just in here. But anyway, folks, um, about 41 minutes in. Like I said, I'm not gonna sell none of this. I'll find out for sure. And uh, when I do find out, B3 is available. I'm on probably putting 110 percent into getting it where this is. Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to chop down no trees. Now, if you go to Giants Ever, GE and take the trees out that way that don't count each so if you know how it works giants over y'all can uh, do it that way or at least it didn't count against me so I'm all crooked here so I'm gonna unhook it and get lined up And one thing to really make your game run more smoother, if any of y'all out here got this game, just don't open all your barns up. Like if you're not going to be working on Johnson Farm at all, or if you can vouch from it, just don't work Johnson's Farm. You know, like you work in Evans, work Evans Farm. And maybe right farm and keep Johnson and Roberts farm closed off. It will make your game run a whole lot more smoother. Oh, this truck's way down here. I need to get that fuel, but I don't need to use this truck. I need to pull it over some more so I can get some more equipment in here. All spaced out. All right. But anyway, like I said, you know, I'm gonna wait till Friday night. See what all he's got cooking up his sleeve, and then uh, me doing that, I'm gonna have to. Uh, watch y'all's videos when I can because you know usually I watch some every night but I just have to watch them when I can folks um I have oh yeah I was going to show y'all this hang on a second chainsaw there we go I'll put uh I think this is concrete I used I took the little tractor and a roller I don't know where it's at. I think it's up by the sales point now, but as you can see right here, this hill, I, I, I found out what this was at this target, and I just went in and kind of forgot a little bit there, but I just kind of went in on the hill a little bit, brought it down some, and used the concrete on the roller part to make all this look like it's concrete. And you know how this mountain came out this way. Well, I wanted a straight path 
which I should have went in a little bit more, but I was stalled for time. I should have went in, deleted this rock bush. Oh, deleted that rock that's about to fall and that tree and took us in some more and deleted this rock, removed it over actually. That's what I should have done. And just fix all this where it come in straight and have the trucks, like if they was going to a convoy or something, or haul them. They come in this way, load up, and go out this way. And they have all this big area to turn around if they need to go back that way. That's what I should have done. Been a little bit more better. But yeah, that's pretty much it, folks. Uh, I'm not going to use this into transport stuff. It takes too long to fit. Holds a lot, but I need something that holds. I need to add like two more trailers on that one I'm using. Alright, I'm going to drop back down to Earth. And it's not zero, it's O. Like M N N O. See, why am I closing that? I don't need to close that. I need to close this. I don't even know if I done my ABCs right just then. <laughs> but anyway, folks. I got the skid steer and this one. I don't know. I might. Oh, whoa. See, this thing works pretty good. One, two, three, four, five pallets. And... We still got quite a bit in there. I should have put more corn in there. But anyway. I'll tell you what, let's, let's help the little piggies out a little bit. Because it'll still be a little bit before I get done. Oh my god, this is so heavy. Oh. <laughs> okay. Can't run with it. Grade A pig food. Look at that, I already lined up for it. Doop, 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 doop. Alright, Charlotte. You should be happy now. Come on, hurry up, Minty. Alright, good. Now they just need root crops. Let's see what that brought it to. Oh. Let's see, I'll go this way. I filled it up somewhat. But anyway, folks, I guess I, I'll drag this along anyway. I got about 11 minutes left somewhat. I gotta come down. Here's uh, our John Deere Combine S690i with the uh, 16 uh, row header on it. And uh, we most definitely will be getting this, and I love it. I love it. I just wish it had tracks on it. The one that does have tracks, the auger's messed up on it a little bit, and that's not loading in the trucks like I prefer. So, yeah. But this is, uh, oh, Robert's Farms. And that's all, pretty much all we had down here was a combine tractor buggy. So, all this is sealed off. Nothing in those. Do have this to get rid of if we get the B3 map. And I'm going to try to get into the trains more on the B3 also. It is, uh, there's a lot to this map, folks. Oh, I forgot about the combine. I forgot about them. Sorry. Who's down here anyway? Betsy and Junior. Betsy was on the green buggy with Mike. Junior was driving the time out. Ain't got too much to go. Oh, of course, all that over there is sugar cane. It might be worth me just driving that kind of the uh, one from Robert's Farm 
over at least from my farm over here and help them out. Get this done. Um, I'm gonna drive him back over here. I'm gonna try to put as much of this stuff I can into uh, the shed so I can uh, load the game a little bit better. That's another thing. You get most of your equipment put away in these sheds, folks. You can load the game so, so much better. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish harvesting that stuff uh, here and there and um, transporting all this other stuff over to this farm. I don't know what I've done with my truck and trailer. Oh, I'm done corn. Duh. I keep forgetting. I think I still got equipment in here too that I haven't. Now, to see, there's an axle flow in here. And a chrome baler. Some old equipment I need to get sold. Yep. That. Uh oh. I got room for it down there. Oh, well, it'll just sit right there. I'm gonna pull this truck up. This is the truck I've been hauling all my other stuff in. I decided to bring it down here and haul some corn. Which I like to sell some of this corn to Popcorn Sudden, I believe. Which is right north of me. But I have to get over where Junior's at and take that road north and get to it a whole lot easier. So. Anyway, we got from there to this road. And that much right there and uh this field is going to be half corn and the other half sugar cane but i got this header here because i don't know uh what head this takes ha huh? yeah uh-huh but anyway folks uh, if you like what you saw, which I doubt if you did this episode, but mostly me running my mouth. I'm at the uh, version 3 coming out this Friday. Uh, if you're watching this right now, it'll be tonight. There will be uh, version 3 come out. It's DAJNet dot dot com it is I'm not for sure uh, I will put the link down below in the description uh, y'all can go over and check it out it's on Twitch and YouTube I think it uploads to Twitch first I'm not for sure that's where I usually watch them at is Twitch when we've done the live stream so I can talk to them ask questions and stuff so if y'all do find this in time and uh watch it in time y'all might see me in there uh i'll be listed as tr miller 26 um that's one of my old emails so don't don't think too much about it i don't i don't keep up with that email i'll go in check it time to time but it said something about a virus so that's why I don't quite use it very much but anyway folks um, like I said I uh, hope y'all enjoyed this and I hope y'all will forgive me on the restart we gotta do but you know I just think it's gonna be worth it I really do and if I can get my hands on the new version 3 we will do a restart and, uh, but what I want you to do for me is down below in the comments leave me a response of how you want me to do it do you want me to put like uh, instead of going right into V3 
do y'all want me to sell all this stuff off first on screen? Y'all want to see me sell them all? That's what I want to know from y'all. Uh, you probably won't see me sell everything because it's a lot of it. But maybe what I'll do is go half half. Start out selling, letting y'all see it. And then skip the middle and show y'all the end outcome, how much money that's left. That way you won't think I've cheated anything in. But uh anyway. Some do, some don't. I don't really care. You know. If I was gonna cheat money, I can cheat a million dollars right now. Or I can have it unlimited money on so I ain't like that I, you know might come up with some kind of a excuse like John's mom wanted us to do a uh, oh what was that one that the mayor of Goldcrest well, we done took out so many trees, and he said we can have the money from the trees and have a million dollars for doing all the work. Might be something like that, but you know, it'd be something that we have to do some work for, in other words. Oh, that's two trailers full. But anyway, folks, like I said, I'm going to be transporting the grain off of uh, the, all the other farms to Cook's farms off screen but uh, leave me some comments down below if y'all want me to sell all the equipment stuff on screen so other than that I'm getting off here I, I, I'm less than three minutes from being over the hour I'm not going over the hour on this it's supposed to be a 20 minute episode but anyway folks y'all have a great day a blessed day don't forget to like and uh, share with your friends. And I will see you later. Bye.